it comes to our advanced supply area, what we're primarily trying to do is help reduce consumption, trying to reduce the tooling costs. What we can do is actually help reduce their inventory, reduce their consumption, get some reporting and get some um, um, tracking features on where the, some of the tools are being used so they can have a dramatic impact on the amount of tooling and the amount of dollars that they're spending on tooling. In advanced supply, what we try to do is just to try to automate that process where we can and add some securities to it by adding some maybe vending machines or point of use cabinets. What we're trying to do is make sure that they don't spend too much money on their tooling and when they go to get the tool they have what they need. So we want to have just the right amount of inventory that they're carrying for their cutting tools and supplies that they don't have too much, they don't run out, and they don't have too many. We try to take all the different technologies like the vending coil style vending machine, um, automated drawer locking systems, mechanical lock drawer mechanisms, individual drawer locking systems, all different systems. Depending on the environment that we go to, what the customer is looking for, we try to make sure we adapt the right technology in there for that environment. A lot of times our customers will find that they'll reduce the amount that they're spending on tooling because they're getting more organized with what they have. We have anything from things that work for um, machine shops that maybe have one or two machines and a couple guys working there, all the way up to companies that have hundreds of machines and hundreds of employees. And one of the unique things that we probably do is probably the flexibility of our different systems that we have and the ability and the, the resources behind us both in the software that we utilize, the vending machines that we utilize, the technology and the, the experience of our people that are involved in setting up a lot of these tool management systems in the cribs coming from that background as well as our salespeople, tooling salespeople have all come out of the machine shop so they can understand the tooling and they understand how to use those tools. When we talk about being able to help customers and be able to reduce their costs, what, one of the things that's very exciting is when we're able to, act, to get the systems actually set up and then maybe have it in place for maybe three, four months or six months, we can come back to the customer and sit down and say, here's some examples of areas that we've helped reduce costs. At any given moment, we have a lot of the different technologies here available to look at, come and talk to the people that are involved in setting these things up and get a feel for it and maybe go visit one of our customers that have this set up at.